receive a lot of email from patients and just interested friends who have lots of questions. And one of them arrived this morning, and it was an interesting question. Ben H. wrote to me and asked, can you give me 12 reasons why I should visit a proctologist? It's a good question, Ben. Let's see if I can tackle it. First of all, a proctologist is an older term. Procto means straight tube, like the rectum. An ologist, one who studies. And it was an older term that was coined in the 40s and 50s. But since then, the field has expanded to include the colon. And the entire term is really colon and rectal surgeon or colon and rectal specialist. And that's what we do. We look at the rectum, the anal opening, and the colon. So the question is better phrased, 12 reasons to visit a colorectal specialist. Well, let's talk about reason number one. It's the most obvious and it's the elephant in the room. Colon cancer, rectal cancer, anal cancer. Who diagnoses these? We do. Colon and rectal specialists are specially trained to find these things early, to pick up symptoms that you might complain about that don't really make much sense to you and make a diagnosis. So colorectal or anal cancer, that's a good reason. Well, what's another reason? Well, going along with colon and rectal cancer is a checkup. Just a regular checkup to make sure there's nothing amiss, nothing that you don't even know about and don't even have symptoms from, and you want a checkup. Number three, anal itching. Anal itching has a lot of causes, but it has one result, it drives people crazy. And a proctologist or a colon rectal specialist is the man or woman who is best equipped to treat that symptom, itching. That's number three. Number four, rectal bleeding. Rectal bleeding can be caused by many things, most of them benign, not cancer. But you don't know that, and I don't know that, until you visit the colon rectal specialist. Bleeding can be caused by hemorrhoids, Bleeding can be caused by itching where the patient is scratched and caused a little fissure. Bleeding can be caused by a polyp or cancer or a whole host of other things. That's number four. What about number five? Changes in your bowel habits. Everybody worries about colon cancer and rectal cancer again. And one of the worrisome findings is if your bowel changes, either in size or frequency or consistency. So reason number five to visit me visit any colorectal specialist in your hometown is to again rule out colon cancer. Well now we're up to number six. What's the sixth reason we should see a colon rectal specialist? You know, I don't know Ben, I may have run out of reasons, but Dr. Ferruzman, my associate, is here and he's going to give you six more. Hey Gary, it's Hello, an interesting my... topic. Here. Good luck. Good luck to you. Well there's a lot of things, you touched on some of them. Anal abscess, infection, fistulas, fissures, all kinds of things that affect the anal rectal area. That's what, number six. What about inside the colon? Diverticulitis. Ooh, number seven. Infection of the colon. Not everybody who has diverticulosis, which are pockets in the colon, gets diverticulitis. Diverticulitis is an infection of the colon, usually needs to be treated in a variety of ways. Sometimes antibiotics, sometimes not, sometimes emergency surgery. It could be all over the place at times. Can we move on to number eight? Number eight, it could be diarrhea, constipation, trouble with your bowels. That we'll is call that eight and nine. Okay, change eight and nine. of bowel habits, but it could be a variety of reasons. So we're up to number 10. Number 10, I Crohn's think, yeah. disease. Oh, Crohn's, that's good. Ulcerative colitis, inflammatory diseases of the bowel, irritable bowel syndrome, changes in your bowel habits. Inflammatory bowel disease and irritable bowel syndrome are completely different things and they take a specialist to diagnose which one of those it may be. I'm going to give you number 12 and then I'm going to give you number 13. Number 12. The reason number 12 is because colorectal specialists, whether they're a man or a woman, are really funny people. They've got to get you through this exam. They've got to get you laughing so that when you're done you say, well that wasn't so bad, and you tell all your friends. You get checked, I got checked. Colorectal specialists are not like heart surgeons who are very serious. We laugh a lot and we get you laughing a lot. And I'm gonna give you number 13 and probably 14 through 20. Colorectal cancer. That's what everybody worries about. That's the main reason. So come to very upbeat, happy people who are happy to take care of you, put your mind at ease, and get you feeling better.